Good day, it's Tony Fortunato. I haven't done a Wireshark video in a while. Uh, somebody was asking me how to baseline an internet radio app and the question he had revolved around the fact that he had a lot of local traffic with his machine as well and how do you quickly filter that stuff out. So here's how you do it. Uh, what I want to do is eliminate anything local. Anything when I go to the internet I want to capture. So local no, remote yes. The best way to do that Number one, I don't have any applications running in the background that's going to require internet access right now, just to kind of make it easy for myself. Second thing I'm going to do is start a capture. And I'm going to capture uh, a ping to my router. Okay, now we ping the router. We're going to stop this. And we see the pings going back and forth. So now I can get the MAC address of my router which is right here because I'm a lazy kind of guy this is a great way to do this so I'm gonna highlight the actual address I'm gonna right click I'm gonna copy this value because I'm gonna need to type it in at some point well not really type it in I'm gonna actually just paste it capture options and now when the options screen pops up which just went off screen here I can pick my adapter and if I double click on that adapter, again that just popped up on the other screen, I can come over here and say anything to and from this MAC address is what I want to capture. So ether host and then I can just simply right click, paste. So now anything going through the router will be captured. Anything local, printing, whatever, will not be captured. So now I can start my capture. I want to continue without saving there we go so now if I come over here and I'll just pick a Q107 here in Toronto Canada and as soon as I do that it says playing and it's telling me over here as well 35 39 kilobits that kinda of thing I've got the volume low so you don't hear it rambling on in the back of my head I'm just gonna run it for a few seconds the only reason why I want to do that is so the baseline looks a little uh, more obvious because if I just had a little snippet for a second then you'd see this big spike or not a big spike and you would think the entire behavior was like that so we want a, a few seconds worth this is probably good enough it's telling me here that I'm into 30 seconds of this music I think that's good I'm gonna hit stop so I want to capture the end of the conversation as well I'm gonna stop my capture first thing that is uh, obvious to me that is different is this TCP TCP based stuff. You would think radio is audio, audio UDP, but no, no. This particular app, I'm using Radio Sure, by the way. Radio Sure is a portable app, and you can just you can just Google Radio Sure and you'd find it. Um, oh, hey, look, there's a new version too. So it's at RadioSure.com. <laughs> I couldn't have planned that any better. Um, so anyway, so that's a nice little portable app, and uh, you can play internet radio stations. So now the question is uh, the behavior. So number one, it's TCP. Number two, it's port 80, which is HTTP. So if I go all the way back to the top of my trace, I can just, I want to verify, is this really HTTP? And sure enough, there it is. Get PLS, C-I-L-Q-F-M.PLS. It is. It's an actual HTTP command. And you can see right there, HTTP. So that's why uh, this particular app can go through uh, firewalls fairly easily because it looks just like a regular web request. And anybody monitoring this, it looked like just web traffic. Um, so there's the HTTP part of it. It's TCP based. The second question is, what is it doing to my network? Well, let's go to the IO graph. That's the easiest way to work on this. Again, that kind of went off screen. I'm going to just stretch this out a bit. There we go. First thing I want to do is change my tick interval. Um, you know what? Let's give it a second. Let's do the pixels per tick. I don't want to make this more complicated than it really is. This is a very typical media uh, type pattern where you have a big spike at the beginning. There's our burst when we buffer and then we play. As we play the music we top it up and so on and so on and so on. So we definitely see a pattern. Now we look at our scale here 25, 20, 15, 10, and 5. So it's about 5 packets per second which doesn't sound like much. It really isn't. From there, we're going to change this from packets to bits per tick, being network people. So up here, we have 250,000 bits per second, and there's our spike. Well, that's not really a good representation of our data. If I come down here, again, 250, 250, so on and so on and so on. So 50 is right there, 50 kilobits per second. 
So I'm going to say, again, I'm just kind of eyeballing this, it's about 50 kilobits per second. Uh, again, that's kind of dial-up, if you will. So not a lot of data, not a lot of packets, uses HTTP, uses port 80, obviously TCP, and there's the behavior of that application. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.